Though a pilgrim or stranger, a beggar I be, yes, here I go traveling no Though the dearest of friends will not listen to me and chide me from trusting God's son. Though the world in its folly is sin and its shame, neglectfully turn me away. Oh, yeah. 
dear Lord, it, it helps this church, dear Lord, to continue to move forward. Yes. Yes. Would you continue to bless us? Would you continue to keep us? Would you be mind, we're mindful of those who are sick among us and those that are bereaved? Uh, would you watch over Brother Colbert? Would you touch yes. Yes. Uh, his body? Would you touch yes. the doctors, dear Lord? Yes. Would you help him, dear Lord? And uh, he's been through uh, a lot lately, Father. Yes. Thank you, dear Lord, for Sister Colbert, dear Lord, and we thank you, dear Lord, for uh, encouraging her, dear Lord, to continue to keep fighting on. Thank you for her presence tonight, dear Lord. Yeah. And thank you yes. for everyone under the sound of my voice, Father. As we study under the portion of your word, I'm praying, dear Lord, that everyone will not leave today the same way that they came. It's in Jesus' name that we ask this prayer. We believe you for our breakthrough tonight. Yes. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Luke chapter number eight. Uh, Luke chapter number eight. And we are operating tonight from the subject lesson, I owe God to minister or to support uh, his man. Mm -hmm. uh, Amen. Anybody, uh, we, you know our, our custom. We're going we're gonna to give, give the floor open to so a couple of few quick observations or comments or, or whatnot. And, and, and those who studied the lesson, who studied the lesson tonight? Who studied? Who didn't study? All right, all right, okay, all right. We're gonna pray for you. We're gonna be doing better. Amen. 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 So, whoever studied, uh, do we have any comments tonight? What, give me a nugget. Of what, what? What? What can you bless us with? What? What happened with the uh, story tonight? The account, the text tonight. Luke chapter 8, verses number 1 through 3. I put four, but if you read through four, it's no, no big deal. Four goes in to the parable of the soul. So really, it's one through, excuse me, verse number 3 is what I really wanted. Anybody? Um, Please, sister David. What I basically got out of this lesson was that um, Jesus had a lot of women following him during his time in his ministry. And yes. a lot of women supported him. He yes. had more support. Um, more from women than men oh, during Lord his time mercy. in his ministry. Just like today, there's more women in the ministry than men. Lord have mercy. Amen. 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 Anybody else? Go ahead, Brother Pat. Oh, well, Good to see you, Brother Pat. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I mean, as Sister Debbie said, I mean, yeah, there, were, there were a lot more women supporting him than men at that yeah. time. Um, one thing I got away from it was, from, was Mary Magdalene. Yes. You know, as soon as she was healed. Yeah. She, she realized what her, what her position was at that point in time. She just simply said, anyway, thank you and kept the moving. Yes. But her best way of serving God was to support God's man. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, so sir. She was moving to go forward. Very good, Pat. Very good, Sister Day. Anybody else? Anybody else? How you doing, Cam? Cadence, how you doing? All right, so let's dive in tonight. Uh, let's read the text uh, beginning at verse number one. And it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. Notice right here uh, two things that he's doing, two verbs stick out to me. He's preaching mm -hmm. and showing. They go together. Mm -hmm. Preaching and showing. See, the showing is the lifestyle. It's easy to preach. Mm -hmm. But the, the tough part here is the show. That's right. See, because when you preach it, you got to live it too. That's right. Preaching and showing the glad tidings, the good news of the kingdom of God. Now remember, when you talk about the kingdom of God, he's talking about the basilea of God mm -hmm. or the rule of God in one's mind. Mm -hmm. Okay? The rule of God in one's mind. So he says, and the twelve were with him. Question tonight, are you with him? Are you with him? You have to ask yourself rhetorical. Are you with him? The Bible says in verse 2, and certain women Certain women, which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary, called Magdalene, Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils. 
In other words, she was completely jacked up. Seven is a number of completion. She didn't just have well, a few devils. She was completely devil, demon possessed. Now notice what we got here. Certain women, which had been healed. Watch it. Mary Magdalene, which is a former prostitute or whore. Yes, then you got verse 3, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod Stewart. Good. What you got here? You got a couple of groups of women. Mm -hmm. You got a group of women over here. You got a single woman, a former prostitute over here. Mm -hmm. And then you got a married woman. And all of them are looking and following Jesus. And they have had some kind of a relational interaction, interaction with Jesus. And now they are looking to minister to him. Amen. Watch this here. It sure was. Watch this here. Susanna and many others which ministered or served. See, minister, whatever it is that I'm a minister, you know what that word really means in the Greek? That means I'm a servant. Mm -hmm. I serve you guys. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people are always looking to be served, but a minister's job is to serve. Amen. When it is that you are a coordinator, you're, all, you're a ministry leader, that means your job is to serve. Amen. So he, it says, he, he says, many others which ministered unto him of their substance, of their money, of their resources, mm -hmm. their substance, their resources, their time, their money. They ministered to Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, that, 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 that right there is interesting. That's, that, that, that's real interesting. You know why it's interesting? Because that's, uh, what do you do when it is that you you're giving something to somebody who don't need it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, watch this here. Jesus walked, remember, he was God in a flesh suit. But think about it. If it is that he had a shortage of, 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 of money, he could create a miracle and put a, a coin in a fish's mouth. Mm -hmm. If he needed bread, he could command, he could command whatever, he could make bread out of nothing. Jesus didn't need anything. He didn't ask for anything. Still to the vow. He didn't have to ask for anything. He was the man of God. And these ladies figured that they, 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 they understood in their mind. I owe God. Amen. Amen. Because this man of God has touched my life. So I owe God now. Amen. To support his man. He ain't got to go around asking. That's mm. right. Y'all want to me something? No, he didn't have to do that. Why? Because he, he, there he's dealing with people who, who understand they owe God. Amen. And, and even so tonight, when it is that we understand that we owe God, mm -hmm. then it takes on a whole new perspective for work. Nobody has to beg you to come to the Bible. Nobody has to beg you to come worship. Nobody has to beg you to give. Nobody has to beg you to have a good attitude because you understand I owe. When it is that I take a position that I owe something, that means I have no rights. Amen. That's right. Watch this here. That's, if I give you $10,000, mm -hmm. if, well, if I let you let you hold ten thousand, borrow $10,000, watch this here. And I tell you, you need to pay me back. Next month on the 15th, June 15th, I need that $10,000 back. Watch this here. You now owe me. Mm -hmm. You owe me. Mm -hmm. Now, you know how we do. Uh, when people owe us, sometimes we will go in uh, the uh, June 15th coming. Hey, Pat, man, how you coming over at 10 grand, man? Man, are you who you will? I hope you come ask me. Why you laughing? That's petty. You see how we, 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 we get sometimes? Mm -hmm. But how can, I, how can he get like that with me? He owes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, so we can see that in the natural, then it related to the spiritual. Mm -hmm. God died for you. Amen. Yes, sir. He saved you from your sins. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be in a burning hell right now. Amen. Me too. Amen. So now, watch this here. If he calls that he is, that he's having a Bible study, if it is that he needs some help pushing the kingdom forward, I what? Oh, oh God. God. If I don't 
feel like saying amen. If the truth is being, being, being preached or taught, I owe God to say amen. 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 I might not feel like it. I might not be feeling well tonight. I owe God to smile. Amen. And see, when we start taking a position like that, we become like these ladies. These ladies realize, watch this here, that they owed God. When you take that perspective on life, it will humble you and you will serve people different. Amen. Even when people make me mad, even though when people do me in, but it's still I owe God. That's what keeps me keeping on and doing what it is that he called me to do. Amen. It ain't because you just like everything. See, we, we have a problem with this word right here. This is one of, one of our biggest problems in the church. L-I-K-E. Like. God never asks you. God never asks you to like everything. No, that's right. <laughs> See, this life is connected to flesh. Flesh is connected to emotions. Emotions are connected to feelings. Mm -hmm. Most of us, a lot of times, spend most of our time mm -hmm. in our feelings. In our feelings. Yeah. So therefore, we spend our time in our emotions. Therefore, we spend our time in the flesh. So God says, if you walk in the spirit, you won't desire, you won't fulfill the, the lust of the what? Flesh. Amen. See, in the flesh, we can't please God. Amen. See, when it is that you, when the collection plate is passed and you're given, you can't give in the flesh. That's right. That's right. Why y'all scared to say amen tonight? Amen. You, 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 you can't get, because you know what? In the flesh, I'll give my put a dollar in. I know that. <laughs> because I have no belief that it's going to come back. Yeah. Yes. Because my bills are, watch this here, my bills are a reality. And what it is that I want is a reality. And those new Jordans are a reality that I really want. Those are reality. But then I don't see, I can't see, I, watch this here. I can't see God and what he's going to do and how he's going to work it out. Mm -hmm. So watch this here. Remember, faith don't have nothing to do with light. Amen. I like this bitch. I like that bitch. See, it ain't about what you like. Mm -hmm. It's what it is that you need. Amen. And when it is that we can take that perspective, that's when we're starting to grow and mature as Christians. Amen. Amen. The thing about this text, let me tell you a couple of things. Uh, women at this time were not highly regarded. They were looked upon as low-class, secondary citizens. Mm -hmm. It was an autocratic, male-dominated, chauvinistic society. Mm -hmm. That culture in a Roman-ruled part of Jerusalem practiced what is called, write this down, patria postestas. P-A-T-R-I-A. You can hear pat, patriot, patriotical. Mm -hmm. And then P O T E S T A S. Patria postestas. That word means total domination and ruled by a man over a man's family. Right. Watch this. Even to the extent he could have his own children killed. Mm -hmm. What a man said back in that society was law, there was no negotiation. Right. There was no working with it. Mm -hmm. He could sell kids, his own kids, even to slavery, mm -hmm. or make them a slave. Right. Mm -hmm. Women didn't have rights. Women were not included in the census. Women did not have any rights. Women could not divorce a man, but a man could divorce a woman for, for anything. For burning breakfast, he could divorce a woman. That's why women were so drawn to the message of Jesus and his compassion. That's why these women were so drawn because they were in a society where they were being used 
and they were being abused, but they came in contact with this man named Jesus. Come on. Come on. The first person mm. Jesus revealed himself to after the resurrection was a woman. Amen. Not only was she a woman, but she was a former prostitute mm. and whore named Mary Magdalene. I have you to know, I have to pause just for a second and have you to know that Mary Magdalene, Magdalene uh, was different. Remember, uh, in this account, she had the alabaster box and, 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 and she washed Jesus' feet with her tears and her hair. But I'd have you to know this was a different Mary than the Mary in John chapter 12 and right. verse number 3. Right. Mm -hmm. You have to know that. The woman that was in John chapter 12 and verse number 3, that was Mary, the sister of Martha. Amen. Amen. This was Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene was a well-known town whore. Mm -hmm. That's why we thank God Jesus for the cross. Amen. Because now he has an order. He has an order. Watch this here. But he nailed all of that Women being downgraded to the cross. Amen. Women, you missed your shout right there. Amen. Women in the church, just like Elizabeth said earlier, women in the church are usually more dedicated workers, and they've been like that for 2,000 years. Amen. Amen. Women were the first one to the tomb of Jesus Christ. Amen. Where were the men? Women were the last to leave the cross when it is that he died. Yes. When scary men, they lived. Right. Women did in our text tonight were the very first ones to part mm -hmm. with a willing and joyful spirit to support mm -hmm. Jesus' ministry. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Look here. First thing I want you to see tonight is a reflection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For these women to operate like they operate, you have to reflect. What do you have to reflect on? I have to reflect on, first of all, that I oh, owe God. God. Mm -hmm. See, I can't give to anybody unless I understand I owe God. Mm -hmm. That's how, how can we be selfish with God? Mm -hmm. How can we be selfish with God's man when it is, it is in fact God that gives us the power to go out and get our jobs? Amen. Mm -hmm. How can we do it? Amen. But we do it. Why? Because sometimes we in our life, feelings, flesh, and we're not walking by faith and the spirit. Mm -hmm. And when we operate out of those two, when we operate out of this, this zone here, we can't have a reflection. Mm -hmm. Because all we reflect upon is my bills and what I got to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that's where the devil wants you at. That's right. Because when God gives you something and you don't and you don't uh, 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 help other people with it and you don't share with it and you don't bless other people with it, it stops with you. Then God stops your flow. That's right. Amen. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he, does. he stops your flow. See, if you use your gift only for you, but you don't use your gift to help somebody else, then it stops your flow. And, 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 and tonight, I just want you to have, I want you to experience a reflection tonight, all of us. Amen. I want you to reflect upon the goodness of the Lord. Amen. I want you to reflect on how it is that you didn't have anything if it had not been for the Lord. I want you to reflect that some of us had been dead had it not been for the Lord. Amen. I want you to reflect that we was down and out and lonely before we met the Lord. Amen. I want you to reflect tonight. Amen. Amen. Watch this here. Luke chapter 7. Watch uh, Mary Magdalene in verse number 36. Watch this here. One of the Pharisees desired that he would eat uh, with him, and he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. Mm -hmm. Behold, there was a woman in the city, a sinner. When she knew that Jesus sat and meet at the Pharisee's house, she brought an alabaster box out mm -hmm. and served him. Watch this here. Her sin. But then she recognized and reflected upon her sin mm -hmm. and it spurred her to service. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. 
Look at that. <laughs> it's there. Her sin is in 36 and 37. Uh -huh. Watch this here. Then it took her heart to her sacrifice. Look at 37B. B clause. The Bible says she gave on him, brought an alabaster box. That's a very expensive box uh -huh. of ointment. Right. Now look at verse 38. Look at her sorrow. Mm -hmm. And stood at his feet behind him, what? Weeping. Mm -hmm. And began to service and wash his feet in 38B. So her sorrow, watch this here. Her sin brought her to her sacrifice. Her sacrifice brought her to her sorrow. Her sorrow took her to service. Amen. Amen. And then watch, watch, watch verse number 50. And her service took her to salvation. Amen. Amen. Sin, sacrifice, sorrow, service, salvation. Good. It happened for her like that, and it can happen for us like that the same way. Amen. We have to have a reflection Amen. upon Amen. what it is that how good God has been. We have to have a reflection and examine ourselves Amen. to what we have done. Amen. The Bible says in verse 50. He said to the woman, thy faith has saved thee. Go in peace. But she's been with 50,000 nasty men in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. But yet, God says thy faith has saved you. Yes. That shouting news to me. Yes. So it says it don't matter what I have done. Yes. Oh Lord, it don't matter what I have done, what mistakes that I have made. All I have to do is get right with the Lord and keep having faith in and God says your faith with obedience is going to save you. Amen. Amen. Ain't that, that's a good old God right there. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Because I'm here to show you tonight. Watch this here. Because I'm highlighting on Mary Magdalene tonight. Mm -hmm. Because that's what the text uh, 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 highlights. I'm highlighting her because I want to show us all that this woman was the lowest class Woman that can walk. There is nothing nastier than a nasty whore than a lady with anybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to hear you watch this here. I'm glad you ain't mad at that. Because tonight, I'm going to show us all. Go somebody get for me real quick. Uh, Luke, uh, excuse me. Go, go, with me go, go with me to Romans real quick. Romans 6 and, 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 and verse number 16. I'm going to show you here uh, when it is that we in uh, seeing we're all nasty whores and prostitutes. Mm. Watch this here. I'm going to show you before the end of the night. Watch this here. Romans chapter number 6. Uh, Romans 6 and verse number 16. Amen. The Bible says, Know ye not to whom you yield yourselves servants to obey? His servants to ye, uh, are ye to whom ye obey, whether of sin or death or obedience unto righteousness. Go ahead, Brother Patrick Titus, verse number 17, the Bible says what? But God be thanked, well, God be thanked that, that, that ye were the servants of sin. Look at the notes, the word were, past tense, you were. Because he wrote this to, to, uh, to the church that was at Rome. But well, watch this here. They were already, excuse me, believers. Amen. They had already went down in the water and grave about them. He said, he, he was reminding them, he's, he's trying to get them to reflect that they were servants of That's sin. Right. You were whatever it is that you, you were a thief. You were a prostitute. You yeah. were doing what you were. You used to do whatever, but now, but now, when you met Jesus, now you don't act like that. Amen. You did used to cuss people out. Now you don't act like that. Amen. Amen. So watch this here. So he says, he, he said, but then, but God be thanked. Go ahead. But God be thanked. Yes. That ye were the servants of sin. Yes. But ye have obeyed from the heart. Where did you obey from? The heart. The heart. So it's possible for me to obey something, but not be doing this the best from with my heart. That's right. Amen. See, when I reflect, it makes me, watch this here, it causes me to obey from my heart because I think about I owe God because of what he done for me. Amen. Amen. We didn't just come out automatically loving God. He loved us first while yet we were still seven. Yes. Yes. So then he says in verse number, uh, he says, from the heart, that form of what? Doctrine. That was what? Which was delivered you. Skip down to verse 22. The Bible says what? But now being made free from sin. There it is right there. Shout new. Amen. And being what? 
and become servants to God. Uh huh. Ye have your fruit unto holiness. Yes, sir. And the end everlasting life. Verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Hold right there. Whenever you talk about wages, who all wants their check at the end of the week? Amen. 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 You want your check, right? Yes, sir. Those are wages. So that means you work for them and you deserve and you owe something. That means you, you that means they owe you, right? Yes, sir. Watch this here. The wages of sinning mm -hmm. is death. Mm -hmm. We deserve death. That's why no matter what state that we're in, we still can joy and, and glorify God because we're supposed to be dead and Amen. 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 We don't realize that. And see, when I realize that, when I reflect on that, it doesn't matter what state I'm in. Watch this here. I'm still alive and I could be yes. dead. Yes, Amen. So he said, the wages of sin is, 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 is death, but the gift, and watch the gift. When somebody gives me a gift, remember that's something that, that's, that's grace. Yeah. The gift of God is what? Eternal. Eternal life. I don't deserve it. I can't work for it. He's just giving it to me. That's why, oh Lord, I owe God to keep on walking by faith. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's got, he's got a gift for me. Yeah. He's got a gift for you. He's got a gift for all of us. Yes, yeah. Now watch this here. We can claim the gift and accept the gift or we can, we can take the check. Come on. You want the check? That's the wage. Why you say that's the wage? That's the check. Mm -hmm. You don't want the check. You want the gift. Amen. Amen. See, most people are only looking for the check. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But they're not looking for the mm -hmm. check. But they're not looking for the gift. Right. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have a gift from God Amen. than a check from Satan. Amen. 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 So watch this here. We as believers, mm -hmm. when it is that we get caught up in willful sin, mm -hmm. we become spiritual whores. Go to Jeremiah 3, real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm sure y'all, that we all are married to that believers. Jeremiah 3 tonight. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 3, and watch verse number 1. Old Testament Jeremiah. Go to Isaiah, go one, look over. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 3, mm -hmm. and I'm in verse number, number 1. Very, very, very powerful message here. Very strong language. Watch this here. But if, it, if God put it in the Bible, guess what? We got to teach it. We got to preach it. Yes, sir. There's something here that God wants us to see. Amen. Watch the verse in verse, verse number 1. The Bible says what? They say, mm -hmm. if a man put away his wife, and she go from him and become another, another man's, shall he return unto her again? Ain't that nasty? Mm -hmm. That's why you don't want to mess with nobody messing around. That's nasty. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay, all right, here we go. Amen. Shall he return unto her again? Read it, brother. He said what? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? He said that that, that woman is greatly nasty. Yeah. Read it. But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. Yet return again to me, saith the Lord. So now God is calling Israel, which is the, the Old Testament church. He's calling us. He's saying, you're playing the harlot. Mm -hmm. You keep messing around with these idols. You keep messing around yeah. with these other countries. Yeah. He says, you're messing around and you're playing the harlot. I don't want, I married you and you're playing, you're playing the whore. See, all of us become, become we, we, we become Mary Magdalene, Mac, Magdalene's when it is we start playing with our little, our, our little lovers. Mm -hmm. See, all of us have lovers that we play with sometimes. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is true. All of us. We got our little lovers yeah, people right. we like to play with every now and then. Yeah, huh? And that's why repentance is in, 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 in order because God said spiritually you're being a whore. Amen. Right. Skip down to verse number 8. Watch this here. You don't believe that? And I saw, go ahead, Pat. This and I saw uh -huh. and were all the causes whereby backsliding Israel yeah. committed adultery. How did they commit adultery? Backsliding. Go ahead. I have put her away. I put her away. And given her a bill of divorce. Now, let me show you something right here. Let me pause right there. Notice, 
I put her away, mm -hmm. and then I gave her a bill of divorce. Mm -hmm. God is using language because remember, remember, he married Israel. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Remember, he married us in the church. Amen. Before I get to that, two separate things here. The putting away is a separation. Mm -hmm. The bill of divorce is, is the only thing that can be equated to today's divorce. People have messed up marriage, divorce, and remarriage because they made the putting away. They said that's the divorce, and that's not the divorce. That's the separation. Because you got to understand a Jewish, the Jewish custom back then. Uh -huh. That's a separation. Mm -hmm. right? Why would he? Why would he look at if, if the putting away was the divorce? Why would he say then I have to? Why would I give her a bill of divorce then? Mm -hmm. See, the putting away is separation. God said, I hate putting away. He hates the putting away or the separation. He hates when two Christians can't get along. Amen. That's the part he hates. Amen. The legal part of it is the bill of divorce. And remember, you couldn't uh, compare a uh, uh, divorce back then to right now because women could not divorce me. That's right. So automatically you can't compare apples to apples right there. Mm -hmm. That's right. But man could divorce a woman. Mm -hmm. So watch this here. Verse number eight from the top, one more time. He says what? And I saw when for all the causes whereby uh -huh. backsliding Israel committed adultery, I had put her away. Yes. And given her a bill of divorce. Yes. Yet her treacherous sister Judah uh -huh. feared not. But went and played the harlot also. See, you see what I'm saying? Mm. What they were doing, they were going back to the same old, back at it again. Uh huh. Yeah, same old Is that not how we do? Yes, mm. sir. God pulls us out of some stinky stuff, and we go right back to the same old stuff again. Yes, mm. sir. Some of us, our friends, are going to carry us down. Mm. Amen. Some of these friends that we hang around, I'm telling you, they're going to carry you down, and I'm telling you, God is going to consider, because God considers them whores, and if you keep dealing with them, that's what Israel did. He kept messing with whores. Right. Mm. Yes, they were. Watch verse number nine. Somebody read this in what? They came to pass. And it came to pass, through the likeness of her whoredom, that she defiled the land. And committed adultery with stones and with stocks. Now watch this here. Go to Ezekiel real quick. Go to Ezekiel. Go to Ezekiel chapter number 16. And watch verse number 28. I'm trying to show us tonight that we can all be Mary Magdalene's. Ezekiel chapter number 16. Go to verse 28. Ezekiel chapter number 16, and the verse is 28. If you in Ephesians, keep on going back. <laughs> Ezekiel chapter 26, 16, verse number 28. You there, Patrick, the Bible says what? Thou hast played the whore also with the Assyrians. Yes, sir. Because thou wast unsatiable. Uh-huh. Yea, thou hast played the harlot with them. Yes. And yet couldest not be satisfied. <laughs> Though... Sorry, thou hast moreover multiplied thy fornication in the land of Canaan yes. unto Chaldea. Yes, sir. And yet thou was not satisfied herewith. Still not satisfied. Mm. How weak is thine heart, uh -huh. saith the Lord God. Yes. Seeing thou doest all these things, the work of an imperious forest. Forest woman. Watch this here, 31. In that thou buildest thine eminent place in the head of every way. Yeah. And makest thine high place in every street, mm -hmm. and hast not been as a harlot in that thou scornest high. But as a what? But as a wife that committed adultery. Take it what? Which take it straight Crazy. instead of her husband. Who's our husband? Yeah. Jesus is our yeah, husband. Amen. But he says you keep messing with strangers. Yeah. That's right. Wow. That's good. You keep messing with strangers. When it is you keep on messing with all them drugs, you keep messing with strangers. You keep on messing with gossip, you're messing with strangers, and I'm considering you a spiritual whore. Because well, who marries somebody to somebody to be messing with everybody? That's nasty. But God says spiritually, I feel the same way. Mm. He says that's nasty. Mm. Now, if you don't believe it, watch this here. Go to James real quick. 
Go to James chapter number four and verse number four. But somebody might say, oh, well, that's the Old Testament. Well, let me show you. He's saying the same thing even in the New Testament in James chapter four and verse number four. When you there, say amen. amen. Watch this here. He says, you what? Adulterers. Adulterers. Mm -hmm. And what? And adulteresses. Know ye not? Know ye not that the friendship of the world I'm telling you, some of these people that you hang with, I'm telling you, they're going to mess you up. Amen. They're going to mess your blessing up, and you're going to wonder why you keep wandering around the mountain for 40 years when it is that you had a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of weeks of journey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, watch this here. Ye adulterers and adulterers, know ye not that the friendship of the world is opposition or an enemy. It makes you an opposition of with God. Whatsoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is an enemy Amen. of God. Go, go to Matthew chapter number 21 and go to verse number 28. I'm telling you, if we're not careful, we all can be nasty Mary Magdalene's. Mm. Matthew chapter number 21. See how we went in on Mary Mary. She's a whore. She's nasty. Yeah, but look here. God's saying the same thing about us. If we don't get our, our minds right, if we don't get our hearts right, amen. Amen. Watch this here. So the Bible says, the, the, the Bible says in verse number 28, it says, a man had two, uh, a, a certain man had two sons, and he came to the first and said, son, I need you to go to work today in my vineyard. He answered, he answered, he said verbally, I will not. But after he repented, and he went. Now the man, he did the wrong thing at first. But then his says, Mama Beth, what did he do? He repented, and then he went. Mm -hmm. Second came to him and said, likewise. And he answered and said, I will go, sir. I go, sir. And went not. He talked it, but he didn't walk. He didn't walk so then verse 31 said, Whether them of the twain of the two did the will of the Father, they said unto him the first. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto you that the publicans and the harlots, the whores, shall go into the kingdom of God before you. Mm. How can a whore selling her body go in the kingdom before me and I come to church every week and I tithe and I do all of this stuff? It's because you didn't repent. Amen. Is because you didn't reflect on what it is that God asked you to do. And if when you don't reflect, the man, he verbally said, I will go, but he didn't do it. Mm -hmm. The first man said, I won't go, but then he repented, then he went. Amen. And then Jesus said, which one of the two did the will of the Father? Mm -hmm. See, it ain't enough to be able to talk it and say, man, why well, you this? See, it ain't about that. It's about us repenting and turning our thing around and reflecting on God's goodness and going on and doing what it is that God asks us to do. Amen. Watch this here. Why are we saying this and why are we looking at this? We're looking at this is because I'm trying to paint the irony that a nasty whore like Mary Magdalene met Jesus, mm -hmm. turned her life around, and now she's ministering to Jesus. Mm -hmm. But yet, watch this here, we claim to be Christians, mm -hmm. and if it is that we come to church and we keep doing the same thing, but we won't do what a nasty whore to turn her life around did, mm -hmm. then we become the whores. Amen. Amen. Watch how our attitude is about our pastor. Our pastor touches our life every week with the word of God. Amen. Our pastor watches for our soul. Amen. Amen. Do we ever have the attitude? Do you, do, do you need anything, pastor? Well, what can I do, pastor? How can I help, pastor? Wow. Hmm. Man. See, this is the language of somebody, man, that has a, a reflection. Mm -hmm. I owe God. Amen. Amen. It ain't got nothing to do whether I like pastor or not. Well, you should like a likable guy. Amen. 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 The thing about it is, um, we have, I want you to think about something for a second. Have you ever noticed how the denominational churches are so far past the church of Christ? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Let's be honest today. Amen. Amen. Have you ever noticed that? Mm -hmm. They don't have the truth. Now, don't, 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 don't get me wrong. They don't have the doctrine. They don't have the truth. Mm -hmm. But what is it about their spirit? Mm -hmm. What is it about their giving? What is it? See, they don't have they don't have no struggle about giving 10% of their gross plus plus grace gift. They don't have no struggle with that. We struggle with that. We struggle with that. We struggle with giving. Why do we struggle with giving? And Mary Magdalene, a well-known city whore, showed us how it is that she was grateful because she reflected on how Jesus stepped in, the man of God stepped in and changed her life, and now she's giving back to the man of God, and he don't even need her much. Amen. <laughs> Why don't we have that attitude in the church of Christ? I'm talking about as a whole. Baptist people, man, you better not say nothing about their pastor, man. They will hurt you. And in fact, the pastor man has two or three men assigned, and that man don't even have to carry his own bike. Uh, right. mm -hmm. He don't even he touch the door. They have somebody sign open up the door for him. Yeah. If he travels with somebody, he has somebody. I used to love how Marsha Keeble used to have a young boy traveling with him. He used to have uh, about two or three young boys, and, and he was training them to learn how to serve the man of God. Amen. Amen. It ain't nothing about me being no slave. It ain't about me being no duck or nothing. It's about you, oh God. Amen. Amen. You owe God to serve the man of God. You owe God to, man, look here. It ain't nothing wrong with, 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 with. You, should, you, you should take care of the man of God. Amen. I'm not talking about just, I'm talking about your collection. Your collection, you're giving to, watch this here. You're giving to God. You're serving God by giving to the man. But look here, you owe God. Your collection, you owe God that. Amen. Don't get that wrong. Well, I get uh, no. See that right? Like, see, because if it is your collection is de dependent on it, then the, the week you mad at Brother David, you ain't gonna give right. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Come on now. Amen. See, because it ain't about Brother David. That's right. This is about you, old who? God. Oh God. It ain't about me. That's that's your that's your offering. These women, this wasn't necessarily an offering. They just wanted to support Jesus personally Amen. in that ministry. Yes. Yeah. See, his ministry is, is watch this. Yes, I get paid. I get I get supported by the church. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you can still, if it is that you want to, you can still support the man of God. Here, yeah, man of God, I know. Look here, if you need anything, look here, even if you don't look at that, I just appreciate that word, man. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you somebody who is, there's several people that have done it. I'm going to tell you somebody that, that, that really man dude who touches my heart. Albert Bradley. Albert Bradley, where he will get his check, I'm going to tell you how much he is. He will get his check, man. <laughs> when he gets his check, he'll be, but then, man, hey, man, but then, man, I'm going to come over there, man. You know what I'm talking about, Albert. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, Albert. I'm in here in the church. But Albert, man, go cash his check. Get ready. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, here he go, Albert. He'll fill out his, 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 his tithe for the Lord. And, and then, look, look here. Then he said, here you go, Brother David. I appreciate you, man. God don't bless that man. Amen. Amen. He's going to bless that man. He ain't the only one. I'm just using him for a time. Amen. And watch this here. Sometimes the proportion, the woman with the widow with the might, remember the widow's might? Mm -hmm. God said, I don't remember the scripture, which one it is. But I tell you this, he says this woman gave more than all of you because you gave out an abundance of what you had. This woman didn't even have it and she gave, she flipped in what she had. She said, God said, that's how you know God counts proportion. That's right. Amen. He said, this woman, he wants to gauge our heart. Mm -hmm. And in the church of Christ, we have a bunch of people, man, who don't want to really give right a lot of time. I'm not just talking about heart now. I'm talking about the church of Christ as a, as a whole. They don't want to give right. They don't want to see the man of God. They don't even want to see, want to see the man of God in a poor house. Uh, mm. They don't even want to pay the man of God right. Mm. And then they wonder, and they wonder why the man of God got to go get two or three charges to make ends meet. But that's the man of God. Amen. But the denomination, they don't believe in that. They believe in trying to give the man of God the max, max, the max salary. Mm. 
Why? Because they don't understand this is the man of God. We need the word. We need, we need his mind in prayer for us. We need his mind studying for us. Amen. So we can get our word, so we can get our blessing. But yes. if we don't see that, we don't reflect the right way. We don't see it that way. We don't see him as just some other mineral like us. And he should we, he should make no more money than mine. See, when you got that kind of too, God will never bless you. No. He'll never bless you. Because you don't want to see somebody else get you. But watch this here. Whether you watch this, whether we want to see a man of God, God, if he stay, if he lives on God and preaches God, well, God gonna take care of him anyway, whether you bless him or not. Amen. He's still gonna take care of him. Right. And what God will do, when you get in the way of him, who you around the way, he'll still bless you. That's yes, the man of God. Yes. That's the man of God. Yes. It ain't, it ain't nothing just so. It, it, it's not that, 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 that God is just. Well, remember, God is not a respecter of persons in obedience. Yes. But God deals with people different. Amen. He deals with the man of God a little different. That's the man with his message. And everybody wants to get up and preach and teach and this and that. But see, everybody ain't willing to be able to put in the hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and and, and, and hours and, and getting up early in the morning and God waking me up with a man. And my, 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 uh, uh, my wife said, baby, why don't you come up back to bed? I, I got to go in this office. God did it. So I, I mean, it, it, you know, God wake you up. He ain't going to wait on me. Come on. Right. He say, wake up, wake up. Baby, glad I owe him. He woke me up. So go on in the office and write down what I want you to write down. And a lot of times, y'all, we hit me about 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but that's all right, though. God is good. God's still good. Yes, Amen. Yes. So watch this here. So we move from, we move from reflection mm -hmm. to reciprocity. Mm -hmm. Who knows what reciprocity is? Go ahead, Mr. Patty. Um, it's exchange, giving, giving back. Every, thank you, Dad. Every real relationship will have reciprocity. Mm -hmm. Reciprocity. I might be saying it wrong. You do. I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I call you. You call me. Mm -hmm. See, if you're in a relationship with it just one way, that's not a real relationship. Right. I buy dinner. You buy dinner. Come on, y'all. Amen. 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 I got you. I got you. Amen. Well, we got the same pot, so that's a bad example. But, but, but. See, the thing about it is, we, we, we got to learn reciprocity. And a lot of times, us, especially as, as minorities, mm -hmm. sometimes Caucasians don't want to deal with us. You know why? Because we don't know how to return favors. Exactly. We don't know how to reciprocate. We always want, 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 but you gotta give sometimes. Amen. You gotta play fair. Mm -hmm. These women not only reflected, but they knew how to reciprocate. Mm -hmm. It's a principle. Yes. Listen to me, church. I'm trying to bless you this evening. If the devil has you in your mind, well, he just wants somebody. I'm telling you, I'm trying to get you a blessing. Amen. God going, God going, I'm telling you, God has taken care of me royally, and he's going to continue to take care of He's going to take care of you. Amen. And he's going to take care of you, too. Amen. But reciprocity is, is necessary. Mm -hmm. Have you ever noticed that the blessing of God is always conditional? If you will, then I will. If you will obey me, then I will open up. If you would bring the tithe that's going, then I will open up the windows of heaven. You ever understand? It's reciprocity. God ain't going to let you just sit up and use him. That's right. And guess what? God is so good. He, he, he operates first and then sees how you're going to react to him. Go real quick to uh, Luke 6 and 38. Luke 6 and 38. Paul's name the questions and comments. Are we doing pretty good? We doing pretty good tonight? Amen. All right, all right. Thank you. Luke 6 and verse number 38. Very familiar passage of scripture. 
Mm. I know Bishop will probably quote it. Mm. Can you quote it, Bishop? Mm. <laughs> Six and thirty-eight. Go ahead, somebody. Go ahead, Patrick. The Bible says, "Give, give, and it shall be given, given unto you." you. Press down. Good measure, good measure, press down, press and down. shaking together, and shaking together, and running over. Yes, shall men give into your bosom? Watch this principle, church. First of all, you gotta initiate the give. You gotta put that in motion. Yes, sir. And then he says, if you if you put that in motion, mm -hmm. remember the law of reaping and sowing. You whatever you is that you reap, you gonna sow. You put that in in the spiritual realm. Give it. Then the Bible says it shall be given unto you. Unto you. Mm -hmm. But because you gave, Bradley, mm -hmm. it's going to be given to you, pressed down, shaken together. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. And running over. Hey. Watch this here. And because you gave, I'm going to have somebody, a, a human body, give it to you. Amen. Watch it. Read it one more time. Yeah. Give. And it shall be given unto you. It shall be given unto you. Good measure. Good measure. Press down. Press down. And shake it together. Shake it together. And run it over. And run it over. Mm -hmm. Shall men give it to your bosom? Shall somebody gonna come and bless you because you gave and you understood the principle of giving and receive reciprocity. Amen. See, these women, they understood reciprocity. Mm -hmm. Jesus gave them and changed that. Amen. And you know, you don't have to raise your hand tonight. But if it is that everybody in this room is honest, at some point, God has worked, but God did the glory. God has worked in Brother Brother Daniel to change your life. I guarantee you, Amen. you got to, you got to admit that. Yeah. Amen. Whether you want to admit it or not, I don't care if you've been here two months or eight months or nine months, I don't care how long you've been here. But look here, when it is that man, as long as some, a man stays with the word, he's going to bless your life. Amen. Yeah. It ain't because I'm just such a great thing. It ain't none of that. It's God can preach me off the road. Yes. But if I stay with the Bible, Amen. it makes me powerful. Yes. Amen. And it makes you power too. Amen. You don't have to know Genesis to Revelation. All you got to do is keep obeying God for what you know by faith and keep coming to box stuff. Keep worshiping. Keep living right. Keep giving. Keep doing the thing that you're supposed to do. And God going to take care of you. Amen. Amen. You don't have to be in the front. You don't have to be in the front to, to go to heaven. All you got to do is serve. Yes. That's why I tell people all the time. Look here. It don't matter if you, you, you help out or you pay. Or you take out the trash or whatever you can look at. You can take your trash all the way up, up, up to heaven if you just just have the right right spirit. Yes, Amen. 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 You don't have to be in the front mm. because you understand the reflection. You understand the reciprocity that now I owe God, and now it's time for me to give back. Amen. Matthew six and twenty one, real quick. Let's stay in the gospel and then go to Matthew six and twenty one. Then we're going to go check out the Macedonia call in 2 Corinthians chapter number 8. Let's go to Matthew chapter 6 and verse number 21. You got a mic, Dash? Yeah. Matthew 6 and verse number 21. Uh, you know why? You know what God's doing? Tell you to get faith. <laughs> <laughs> He tell you, you need to get your Bible, man. He, that's what he just told you. Look, he said his phone went out. So he said, you know what God tell him? You got to get a Bible. <laughs> Amen. 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 If you don't take that revelation, he warning you. Next time, he's going to blow your screen up. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Uh, who, who's there? Sister there? Go ahead, Sister Bab. Sister the Bible says what? Matthew 6, I think it's 21. For where your treasure is. It is. For where your treasure is. Yeah. There will your heart be also. Watch this here. Did you not know that most of us, a lot of times, mm -hmm. we're covetousness. Mm -hmm. We practice covetousness. We covet that our money. So, and you know what? We live in a world who sets that up. Mm -hmm. Because we live in a world, if you don't have money, you ain't nothing. You can't mm -hmm. even buy almost air now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ain't got a dollar. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's be real with each other. Yeah, that's that, that, 
is that's the reality now. So what it, it tends to make us do is to quit trusting God and trust more in our money than we do God. And God, it hurts God's feelings because God says, I'm the one that can get you as much as you need. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. But it's a principle for us. He says, where your treasure is, what you value the most, he says, there will your what? Heart. Your heart be also. So if your heart is with more with your money than you it is than with God, then that's where your heart will always be. Oh, will that explain why it is that people will always work on Bible study night? Now, I'm not saying because, you know, some, sometimes each other will crack it down, this, that, this, that. But look here, there's a way sometimes if you really want to do something. You can do it. Amen. You can do it. Some jobs you can go in there and tell them, look, look, I work six days, but I got to serve the Lord. And I, I look at please, if, if I can just get off on these nights for Bible study. A lot of times, God will connect you with the right person. They'll hire you because you got a conviction about yourself. Amen. That's true. I've seen it. 2 Corinthians chapter 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 8. Let's look at the Macedonian call. 2 Corinthians chapter number 8. We're talking about reciprocity. 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 That's what it's called. Reciprocity. 2 Corinthians 8 and verse number 1. Moreover, brethren. Moreover, brethren. We do you to wit of the grace of God. Yes. Bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. Yes, sir. How that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the riches of their liberality. Now look what's going on here. These people were poor and dirt. Mm -hmm. They had not only poverty, the Bible describes, he said, it's a deep poverty. Mm -hmm. they but it's, they was poor, poor. Sure. But despite their poor poorness, they still had joy. Amen. Now we'll watch verse 3. For then to their power I bear record, yea, and beyond their power, they were what? Willing. They were willing. Mm. That's the key to reciprocity. Mm. Reciprocity. Yes, sir. You got to be willing. Yes, sir. And then watch this here. So then he says, pray, go ahead, dash. Bring us yes. with much entreaty uh -huh. that we would receive the gift yes. and take upon us the fellowship of the ministering to the saints. These people gave, watch this, these people gave out of the past. That's right. They gave out of the past. It was a privilege. And they counted it as a privilege to give. What is it about what they understood? understood the reflection. reflection. They understand. They understood reciprocity and they didn't even have it. That's right. Most of us, we give out, watch this here, we give out of our abundance. Mm -hmm. But you won't understand giving until you get down to your last. That's right. When you get down to your last, that's when you really find, find the joy in giving. When you have to trust God, when you don't even know, watch this here, your life bill is $200 and you're down to your last $80. Hmm. Right. And your life bill is $200. Mm. You might as well put it in the plate. Mm. <laughs> and they're going to cut your lights off anyway. <laughs> God be nice. <laughs> they ain't going to let you go with 100, 100, 100, 100, whatever it is. <laughs> you might as well trust God. Amen. Look, these people, they had a appreciation for what God is doing in their lives. Amen. And they trusted God that God can fix their situation. Amen. No matter what you're going through, tell them rope and hang on to God. Amen. God knows what you're going through. Amen. God cares what you're going through. That's the shouting news right there. Yes, he He's aware of what you're going through. And he cares about what you're going through. Yes. And he can fix what you're going through. Amen. But you've got to give it to him. Mm -hmm. Watch this here. 
verse 5. And this they did. Be it. Not as we hope. But first, go ahead. Gave their own selves to the Lord. And unto us by the will of God. See, a person can't give themselves to you mm. until they give themselves to God. That's Amen. right. Amen. A man coming up telling you that he loves you, I'm telling you he's a liar. Until he loves God, he cannot love you. Amen. It works for a woman the same way. I don't care how high her heels are, how, how pretty her hair is. If she don't love God, she cannot love you. Amen. They must be willing to give themselves first to God mm -hmm. and then to us Amen. by the will, the will, the will of God. Second Corinthians 9, verse 7. Second Corinthians 9, verse 7. The reciprocity of these ladies was most astounding. Single ladies, married ladies, group of ladies, all because God had touched their lives. They felt it not robbery to go and minister to the man of God. Amen. That's the lesson tonight. Amen. Second Corinthians 9 and uh, verse number 7. The Bible says, go ahead, Sister Daly, it says what? Every man according as he purposed in his heart. As he purposed in his heart. So let him give. So let him give. Not grudgingly. Not the oh, They always pass the plate. See, God said, keep it, bro. I don't need it. Keep it, sis. Mm. I don't need it. You don't want something, man, that's given grudgingly. Amen. Because remember, just like these women, Jesus didn't need it. He didn't ask for it. Amen. And then he says, nor of, excuse me, more of what? Necessity or compulsion. Nobody should make you have to make it should make you give. That's right. You gotta come from the heart. You gotta come from your heart. Right. And man, if you knew anything about curses, man, look here. If I did forget to give God or whatever, look here. Man, look. As soon as I remember, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna rush it to man. I'm gonna rush it to the Lord. Why? Because that's God's money. He says, not of, not of necessity, for God love it. Loveth. Now watch the word, cheerful. That, that, that word comes from a word, uh, a Greek word that means uh, hilarious. Mm, right. Laughing. Happy. That's why I say, when it is that we, uh, it's giving time, and I hate when it is that somebody that officiates the giving say, we come down in that part of the service. We ain't come down to nothing. <laughs> we came up right now. This is our come up. Why? Because now we get a chance, like Susanna and them, we get a chance to minister and partner with God. Amen. 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 We come to that part of the service where we get a chance to a privilege to give to God. Because yes. he don't need our money. Amen. Amen. We need him. Yes, sir. And we, we owe God. Yes. Amen. Mm. Acts 4. Acts 4. Real quick. Acts 4. Acts 4 and look at verse number 32. Watch this here. Everybody there say amen. Amen. And the multitude of them that believed. Remember the church had just started. Remember the day of Pentecost? Mm -hmm. Just started. All of those souls obeyed the God, uh, obeyed uh, the gospel. Mm -hmm. uh, remember? These all, all of the people, all of the, all of the, they were one. The church was one. Everybody uh, loved one another. They had a uh, meeting every day. Uh, they had, they shared their belongings. They were, they were on one accord. Uh -huh. Nobody was fussing. Nobody was fighting. Nobody was hating. It was all, they were just happy to be saved. Amen. They were happy to be together because people were being murdered for being a Christian. So Bible says in verse 32, and the multitude of them that believe were of one heart mm -hmm. and of what? One, one soul. soul. Go ahead. Neither said any of them yeah. that ought of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all, all the things, things in common. common. What about this stuff? Hmm. It wasn't about this stuff. What about their money? What about their job? What about their check? What about none of that? They were just happy to have all 
things in what? Common. Common. Verse 33. We're almost there. It says what? And with great power gave great the apostle witness yes. of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Uh -huh. And great grace was upon them. fell upon them all. Yeah. Verse 34. Neither was there any among them that lacked. Nobody lacked. Why? Because everybody had the same mindset. Amen. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them. Yeah. And brought the pieces of the things that were sold. And they did what? And laid them down at the apostles' feet. Who were the, uh, the apostles? The they were the preachers. Very good. Where did they lay them down? At and the, the preachers' house. feet. And watch this here. Distribution was made by who? Unto every man by who? The preachers. The preachers. Who officiated the money? The preacher. The preacher. So the Bible says, it says, go ahead. And we'll make to every man according to as he had what? Me. So that's why I can't take my money and say I'm going to give it to the Salvation Army and take part of that. No, take God's money and bring it to God's house. And then you take, if you want to take your money, your part, after you've given God his part, and you want to go dip and take something to the Salvation Army, and you want to do a good deed, you do it out of your part of the money. Amen. Amen. But you, Biblically, you got to bring God's money to God and let the apostles or the preachers, they distribute. Amen. If they see a need over here, they distribute. Amen. Is this making sense? Amen. Do you see that in your Bible? Amen. Okay, so then go, go ahead and we're almost done. This is what? And Joseph, uh -huh. by the apostles, was surnamed Barnabas. Skip, skip down to verse 37. It says what? Having land, sold it and brought the money. And laid it at the apostles' feet. He laid it at the apostles' feet. Now, watch this here. We understand reflection. We understand reciprocity. Mm -hmm. Reciprocity. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to see the release that they did. Mm -hmm. God says, if you release thou, then I will release. I will release. Mm -hmm. If you release, mm -hmm. then I release. Mm -hmm. But see, when God releases, you got to be ready for overflow. Amen. Amen. See, if he just sees you release with a good good heart and good mind and a willing spirit, mm -hmm. he says, then I'm going to release by. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord Jesus. First Kings 17. First Kings 17. The verses are left. Old Testament, First Kings 17. The verse number 11. First Kings chapter number 17. Mm -hmm. The verse number is 11. Mm -hmm. uh, context. There was a widow woman mm -hmm. with a son, Zarephath. Here this woman uh, was down on her fortune. She didn't have much. She only had her and her, her son. God had sent a live help on assignment to meet up with this woman. Mm -hmm. Watch this here. Watch verse 11. She was going to fetch it. She was going to fetch it. Mm -hmm. And uh, he called her to her and said, bring me, I pray, be a morsel of bread in thine hand. Mm -hmm. Now this was this woman's last meal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her last meal. Mm -hmm. Watch this here. The Bible says, and she said, as the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal, and a barrel, and a little oil, and a cruise, and behold, I'm gathering sticks that I may go and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. She had absolutely no more expectation. Mm -hmm. She said, this is our last meal, and after this, we're going to die. Mm -hmm. Watch this. And Elijah said to her, Fear not. This is what I want you to do. Watch this here. Fear not. Get your mind right. And go do what I'm telling you to do. That's right. Do get your mind right and do what I'm telling you to do. He says, Go and do as thou hast said. But make 
me therefore thou a little cake with first. first. Watch this here. In other words, he's teaching this woman a principle that we can all learn from tonight. Yes. The same principle that, that, that these women that ministered to Jesus learned. They, Elijah, tested her flesh. Mm -hmm. It's common sense. If this is all I have and I got a son to feed, how am I going to give you something, man of God? You got money. How am I going to give you something when it is that we don't have nothing to give right now? Mm -hmm. Get out of my face. If she'd have took that spirit, she'd have died. And not only she to die, her son to die too. That's right. But Elijah was teaching her a very important lesson. When you give to God and you take care of the man of God first, mm -hmm. watch the next verse. Watch the next verse. The Bible says what? Mm -hmm. Read verse 14. For thus says the Lord, yes. the God of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste, uh -huh. neither shall the the cruise of oil fell until the day that the Lord ascended rain upon the earth. 15 says what? And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house did eat many days. Watch this here. She went because she was willing to release. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, you cannot win until you do what God asks you to do first. Amen. Amen. And if he asks you to put his man, watch this here, he asks you to support his man first, he's testing you. Amen. And sometimes what it is that you trust in God for, God said, I'm waiting on you to get your mind right about the man of God. Amen. Amen. That's why I chose to do this for six months. I, I've chosen. I, we, 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 how many lessons? We went through 20 or something different lessons mm -hmm. all throughout the Bible, and God is saying the same thing. Amen. I'm telling you, you got to take care of my man of God. I'm telling you, you got to respect the man. I'm telling you, don't go in your car and start gossiping about the man of God. Amen. I'm telling you, leave that man alone. I'm telling you, he, he shows it to us time and time and time Amen. again. Amen. So, Amen. Why, when do we get it? Maybe God is telling you, maybe he's giving us the secret because watch this here. For most of us, if God told us, uh, if God told us, do this and you're going to get this amount of money, we don't do it. Hey, yeah. Most of us got some sense. We do it. Huh. So God does this. He says, I tell you what, that's too easy. Right. I'm going to hide my blessing inside of obedience and I'm going to test your faith and the only way that you can access the blessing is you to obey me. Amen. When you look at it like that, then you start to understand the reflection. You don't have no problem reciprocating, and then you don't have no problem releasing and letting it go because you know you trust in God that God is going to get it back Amen. to you. Amen. He's going to get it back to you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. From Philippians, real quick. Philippians. Amen. Philippians chapter number 4, verse number 19. Philippians 4 and 19. Then we're going to go to Galatians 4, and then we're done. You've been good tonight. Philippians chapter number 4, the verses number 19. General Electric Power Company. All right. <laughs> Philippians. All right. Philippians 4, and watch verse number 19. Oh, man, this is everybody's favorite scripture, brother. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Jesus Christ. Amen. Isn't that awesome? Amen. Now watch this here. We started verse number 19. Mm -hmm. But if we look at the context and find out how we got to verse number 19, mm -hmm. and we, excuse me, we go back to verse 15, I'm going to share with you the release and the principle which God shared with us tonight. Amen. Now, my e, my Philippians, know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, this is Paul talking, no church shared or financially supported with me concerning giving and receiving, but you only. Amen. Paul didn't ask for anything, but they automatically gave out of their, their willingness of their heart. Mm -hmm. So watch what happened. 
Well, even in Thessalonica, he sent me once and again to my necessity. Not because I asked you for some desire to give, but I desire that fruit may abound to your account. In other words, Paul said, I'm trying to get you a blessing. That's what he I want you to be blessed. Mm -hmm. See, it's not about me. God is going to take care of me as long as I'm carrying his gospel. Yes, I'm right. trying to get you blessed, and God will hide your blessing till you change your reflection, change your reciprocity, and you start releasing your money, releasing your time, and releasing your efforts so that then the man of God can do what it is he needs to do for me. Amen. Amen. It's Lord. If you don't believe that, and you believe all oh, this is so he gets money, you keep believing that. Yes. When you're messing out, Paul said you're gonna miss out on your blessing. Mm -hmm. So watch what he said. So then he says, he says, but I have all and abide. Paul said, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm good. He said, I'm full, having received Epictetus, the things that, did, that were sent from you. I own of a sweet smell and say of a sweet smell. And sacrifice acceptable will pleasing unto God. Mm -hmm. Who did it please? God. God. Who did they feel, feel like today? Oh, God. God. So what happened up, ended up happening? Verse 19. My God shall supply all your need. Now he's blessing me. Amen. He said, Bradley, because you thought about the man of God, my God is going to take care of you. Amen. All right. All right. Let's see. Philippians, uh, excuse me, Galatians 4 and 6, real quick. Galatians 4. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Where is the reaping and sowing? Is it 5? It's 5, I'm sorry. Galatians 5 and verse number 6. Excuse me. Galatians 6 and 6. I'm so sorry. Galatians 6 and 6. And you there, say amen. 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 You there in Galatians 6 and 6? Amen. Mm -hmm. Watch this here. Let him mm -hmm. that is taught in the word mm -hmm. communicate. Mm -hmm. Communicate. Watch this here. That word means participate, fellowship, or share. share. Mm -hmm. Okay? Share good things unto him that teaches in all good things. Mm -hmm. This is a command. I want you to people that teach you the word, I want you to share with them in all good things. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's the book. If somebody got an Amplified or an NIV version, you got to take your NIV. What does it say in the Amplified with them? The Amplified one? Yes. That let verse right there. Let him who receives instruction in the word of God share all good things with his teacher contributing to his that, that That's a better. That's why I like to amplify it sometimes. He says, let him that is taught in the word share all good things with his teacher that mm. teaches him in the word. Amen. Now, it's not me. This is God talking now. Amen. See, God is trying to show us all the ways that we can be blessed, but we keep ignoring it, and we keep listening to the world, and keep on listening. We think it's about our check, and I'm telling you, God is not bound to no check. God can connect you with somebody, man, that can change your whole life in one day. Amen. So watch what it's saying, because everybody knows verse number seven. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he what? But if you understand context, and ever look at this in context, he just came out of sharing with the man of God, and then he goes into uh, sowing and reaping. Amen. I just hear you get this lesson. I'm done. When it is that I understand uh, the release, I understand the law of sowing and reaping. Mm -hmm. I understand that God is wanting me to share and release and minister and support the man of God. And the man, and watch this here. God says, then you're going to sow what you read. Amen. Amen. Think about it like this here. You got sower, that's you. Mm -hmm. You got seed, that's your service or finances or whatever your resources is. And you got soil. 
soil, it is, it is ground. Uh, that, watch this here. Because if you don't have seed, you got to have the, the, the seed is no good without the soil. Amen. And the soil is no good without the seed. Mm -hmm. So, that's, I've got to have a mind to take my seed and I've got to release my seed and let it go into the ground. And when it goes into good ground and it goes and it germinates in the ground, it comes back up a harvest. Amen. But if I don't, if I keep my seeds in my hand and I go freeze my seeds and I keep on keep my seeds in my pocket and I'll never release them, it never will go in the ground. Yes. yes. God is showing us the same thing tonight. These ladies were blessed because they reflected upon the goodness of the Lord. They reflected on the they owed the Lord. They understood reciprocity. They said, God has been good. Yes. Jesus changed my life. Yes. So I gotta help him. Amen. Amen. And they understood release. Well, I can't talk it. I got to walk it too. So I got to release. Amen. Amen. And I got to trust God. I release. See, that's how you give. When it is that you reflect on God, you say, man, look here, I owe God. Look here, when you write your check out to God, look here, you release it. You release the seed and you put the seed in the good ground. Amen. And you expect it a harvest. But if you don't believe none of this, then when you keep on doing out of necessity and you wonder why your life ain't really taking off to another level. Amen. Amen. Because see, some of us have just got used, we didn't got used, we just write the same check out every week, same check out. Same. Look here, hey, sometimes just challenge yourself. Put a, put a little extra something with it. Put another, see, sometimes, man, look here, I took. Let me put another extra five or extra ten, extra dollar. Let's just show God, 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 I'm good. You've been so good. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Don't get in the same rut every every week of just doing the same. Step up your service sometime for God. Amen. 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 Preacher. And whatever you give God, whatever you sow into that ground, when it drops in that ground and you did it with a good heart, mm -hmm. God will make sure that thing comes up. Amen. 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 Pressed down, shaking together, and running over. Running over. Shall men give into your bosom? Why? Because you understood the principle of giving. Amen. Amen. Don't ever be stingy with the man of God. Amen. In fact, lead the man of God in your will. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Lead the church right there. Yes. Yes. Lead the man of God in your will. Yes. Lead the church in your will. Yes. And let me tell you something. Yo, a lot of people, these people in our family, all they're going to do is take it. They're going to take your money. When you're gone, you're gone. That's they're going right. to take your money and squander it. Yeah, that's right. Mm. These people in your family, they're going to take it and squander it. Mm. That's right. A lot of these grandkids, they ain't mature enough to have it. They're going to take it and get on some drugs or something. But they ain't nothing. See, look here. If you give two people, people too young, that's why they have trust funds. Mm -hmm. You got to be a certain age because, look here, you're too young and you ball out of control. Hmm. Man. Y'all there to call them doing crazy stuff, amen? Amen. 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 Good lesson. Good <laughs> you want to leave me in your, 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 your will? My name is T-R-E-V-I-N, capital D-A-L-Y. Don't amen. say T-R, I don't want them to get it mixed up, all right? <laughs> you hear tonight, it's something to go with the invitation. You know, my favorite repentance, repent, uh, <laughs> repentance. Profession and baptism. If you're here tonight, you're subject to the Lord's invitation. You just want to get your life right with the Lord tonight. You need prayer. Come on, Dash, let's sing. And, and, and we stand. All night I'm singing. All, all night. You know the angels watching over me. My Lord, I'm singing. All night 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 I'm singing. Thank you. 